What is up, YouTube? This is Swide from Hebrew Legends. Coming to you today with a heartbreaker against Debo's army. Lost by two. Uh, shout out to them. They, they played really well. Um, had some... We, I, you know, we just had an off war this war. I, for one, had two bad two stars. Didn't come through. We had a couple other guys that came through big for us, but uh, it didn't end up working out for the win. Um... We had some good-hearted banter with Debo's army beforehand in our clan descriptions, which was pretty fun. They came, they came out uh, initially with something like, hey, Hebrew Legends, anybody that three-stars one of our bases can join our clan after we win. And, you know, we came back with, you're not going to have enough room in your clan for everybody that three-stars your bases. So it was pretty fun. Um, they had the last laugh, obviously, one by two. Uh, they had a, a three... Town Hall 10 advantage. They had three more than us, um, which which we felt that difference a little bit. But um, we just we just didn't execute very well. We left a few Town Hall nines on the board, as you can see. A couple of our Town Hall tens had to come down and and hit those, whereas normally they'd be up trying for that three star uh, on their Town Hall tens. So we only ended up with one three or I'm sorry, two three stars on their Town Hall tens. So um, you know it is what it is. Um, I am going to show a couple replays, though. Every three-star, actually, in this war was a Laloon <laughs> attack or some kind of variation, Go Laloon, Penta Laloon, something like that. Um, so not much, uh, not much to show you that you haven't seen before, probably, um, but I wanted to show a couple regardless. Uh, this one we'll do first. This is from Elad. He's a new player, um, really talented Town Hall 9. He's pretty much maxed. It's got bulky heroes. Um, I just I wanted to show this one because this is an incredibly popular base right now. This this kind of spread, you know, seventeen <laughs> double giant bomb spots looks like you can't hog it at all um, with the kind of uh, centered, you know, air defenses, um, centered heroes, centered clan castle. This base is so lalunable, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I hit this base first, I think, actually, um, and just had the worst <laughs> hound deployment ever. Um, I, I don't know what happened there, but a lad came in, and he's like, let me show you how it's done, and he really came through. So let me just show this one. He does a couple things I'd like to talk about briefly um, that I think are really good. So he shatters from the bottom. Uh, Brings four wizards. This is the typical build, I think. About 15 loons, two golems, three hounds, uh, a few bombers to get you into the first layer, and then uh, a couple clean up troops, whether it's archers or goblins or a minion or two. Uh, so I like, I like how he's waiting on the king here. Just drops his king as he starts getting the clan castle pull, so uh, the golems take that damage instead of the king, which is, which is nice. Uh, good lightning there. I think he gets the witch, yeah, he got the witch on that last, last splash of the lightning. Um, King's doing work. So is the queen here. Uh, and this is, I mean, this is where, this is where your Laloon either succeeds or fails generally. Can you get an air defense, the queen, and maybe another couple air targeting point defenses? Um, this is where it decides. And right now, I think normally people would start. They, he got two air defenses. He got an expo. He got the queen. Um, he actually came in and got. I think there's a wizard tower and archer tower here. Um, you know, and he got a Tesla and a couple other point defenses there as well. Uh, so he got a fair amount of this this one half defenses down here. Uh, but he is not yet deploying his hounds, and this is the kind of this is the unique thing about this attack. Um, I, I did the exact same thing. My queen went down as she was taking out the second air defense, and then I deployed my hounds, um, you know, here and here. Uh, and he actually waits for a bit. I'll show you. He lets his queen, you know, doing what she does best, working on those walls, uh, and he lets her take out these few defenses here. Um, so she just travels around. He phases are there just to get through that dark elixir storage because he doesn't want to waste too much time uh, and he actually lets her take out this archer tower and she'll go in and take out this wizard tower so he sees that and 
it actually saves him two balloons. Normally you'd have to drop two more loons here to path to this wizard tower as well, and these two would go, there's a Tesla there, so they would have dropped there. But he actually saves two balloons by just waiting 20 seconds, letting his archer queen go through the motions, break through all those walls she likes to break through, and take out a couple extra point defenses. Um, and you can see that made the difference, because on the back end, he has an extra two loons down here. He's got one for this mortar, and, you know, he would have only been able to bring three, and instead he's able to bring five, which just cleans out this base. And, you know, it didn't make too much of a difference because, as you can see, he just shredded it. Uh, but, hey, if, if you have the extra 20 seconds, let your queen go to work. Usually she'll go down just about the time, you know, it's kind of a race against the whatever's shooting her at that moment as she's trying to go for that second expo or the Inferno Tower or whatever it happens to be. Uh, but if you deploy... Uh, that shatter really well, and you have a little bit of extra time, let your queen take out a couple defenses, because those are balloons that you'll save, and they're going to help in the long run. Uh, nice attack, lad. Really good stuff. And I only wanted to show one more, just because, you know, lots of loon <laughs> attacks this war, uh, and that seems to be the trend, obviously. Uh, I wanted to show Rom on their 21. Uh, this is another, This is another good loon. This is a solid attack. Uh, same build, you can see, but instead of goblins, he brought archers. But that four wizard, 15 loon, five tanking, you know, a shatter, and three lava hounds is the standard build for Town Hall 9, it looks like. This is another kind of popular base. It's not nearly as well built um, as some of the bases can be, some Town Hall 9 bases, but this kind of, like, I call it layered square bases, where they have squares within squares kind of thing. Um you know, that idea. Usually, like, you'll see these bases, Rancid made these bases popular with her farming base, um, and people just turned them into war bases where there's four double giant bomb spots and at least two or three defenses to take care of. I imagine there's, you know, a Tesla there guarding the double giant bomb. Um, but those bases as well, if you can just get your golems inside with a jump, uh, you know, you're gonna get two air defenses. They're just, they're just too close to each other. Um, so, you can see that jump spell is perfect. He actually allows his golems to get in here, and they'll follow this jump spell around and take out those defenses. Whenever you can do that, whenever you can... Um, maybe would have waited a second on the lightning also, but, you know, he didn't matter too much. There's an extra wizard that sat behind here, basically. Um, but, you know... Anytime you can, you can make a jump, so your golems are going to path directly to an air defense, and then you know your queen is going to take out the other one, right? So you're, you're guaranteed to get two. Sometimes it's a little tricky, they're a little deeper, and you're not sure if you're going to get two. Use the jump spell strategically. And, you know, he didn't try to break in and jump, like, in a big spot. He just chose the section with the air defense and jumped there. So um, you can see his, his hounds are deploying. There's only two air defenses left, and he's got three hounds. So this is, this is game over, basically. Um, hounds are pathing around, doing a good job. Uh, he saved a couple loons, you can see there, <sighs> just for that back end. Um, I actually would have dropped him on the wizard tower, probably, uh, but wizard towers are, are, they can cause you trouble at the end of a raid when your balloons, you know, get all bunched up together, and obviously he just has, he has a lava hound still up, and he's got way too many loons for that to be a problem, but um, it's probably good practice to save those last ones for that last wizard tower. His loon split there, which is good. He's still got that lava hound up, which kind of hurt him a little bit. But, um, hey, when you wreck a base so hard that you still have a lava hound, it's not nothing against you there. It just happens sometimes. Balloons hit some of the mines, so some of the seeking air mines. Anyway, just cleaning up, doing their thing. So much left over. Nice attack, Rom. Proud of Hebrew Legends. Debo's army is, is you know, they're great. They're a great clan. Uh, they have something like 120 war wins, um, so they're no, they're not your grandmother's <laughs> farming clan or anything. Um, but I'll even show what they did to our bases. They shredded us. Again, they had f essentially six extra Town Hall 10 attacks, so they just took our 
top Town Hall 9s and just use those and just three-starred all the way down with those Town Hall 10 attacks. So um, that hurt us. And they had, you know, then six extra attacks on our Town Hall 9s. And they actually left a couple Town Hall 9s open more so than we did. But those extra attacks, man, having Town Hall 10s, even low Town Hall 10s or Town Hall 9.5s, they can really be the difference in a war sometimes. So anyway, guys, congrats to Debo's Army. Uh, Cheers to Hebrew Legends, though, for putting up a good fight. Um, we got another war going on right now, so we'll see what happens in this one. Anyway, guys, this is Swipe from Hebrew Legends. Have a good one.